Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about a highly requested video topic. So many subscribers have wrote in asking how to turn sharp corners or move in your wedding dress with your veil on and not having it all gather and get crinkled together. I'm going to give you all the details in this video. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic or video you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow Follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. You can now subscribe to my Instagram at Wedding Fashion Expert for exclusive weekly content. And for daily content, also follow at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert on TikTok. So many subscribers and followers have wrote in asking me, how the heck can I keep my train straight and not allow it to gather? Same with the veil. How do I turn a sharp corner? So many questions about this. I wish I had a magical answer for you to say, if you do this, your train will stay perfect. If you do this, your veil will stay perfect. Unfortunately, that is not a realistic expectation. It's fabric. It's going to wrinkle and move and gather as you're moving. And of course, each dress moves a little bit differently. I did pick an all lace gown to show you for this video. However, if you had an all tool bottom that does gather and it doesn't have as much of a way to be able to manipulate the fabric. This particular dress that I'm wearing does have horse hair at the end. So this is the horse hair material right there. This manipulates the tool and the lace to lay beautifully and to be able to hold its shape. So you are going to see me move in a dress that is going to be able to hold its shape to the best of its ability because that fabric is manipulating it. We're also going to put on a tool veil so that you could see how the tool moves and you could only imagine if you had a tool bottom that it would be even greater to move around in that. If this is something that's really important to you, I do recommend moving in the wedding dress and seeing what it looks like, but also having realistic expectations. You wanting your train to remain absolutely flawless and perfect as you move throughout your day along with your veil is really unrealistic. No different than if you're wearing a form-fitted dress and you don't want it to wrinkle while you walk or bend or move. It's fabric, it's material, it's going to move with you and flow with you. Without further ado, let's see how the dress moves. So I am standing on carpet. Carpet does have a tendency to grab the material, but there were questions on how to do a sharp turn. So I'm going to do a sharp turn and turn around and you can see how the train moves alongside me. It does need someone to help me fluff it. It's impossible for it to lay 100% flat. That being said, you definitely want to have someone with you on wedding day who can arrange your train for you and your veil and make sure it looks beautiful in photos. That's something really important to consider. Your photographer and wedding planner are not necessarily responsible to make sure that your train and your veil look amazing all the time. This is also why a lot of our brides do hire a day of stylist and dresser that help make sure that everybody is looking beautiful for photo, video, and to make sure that everything looks beautiful as you're moving throughout the day. I'm going to walk again just so that you can see what it would look like if I walked straight. If you walk straight, it does hold its shape. It just becomes a little bit more narrow. And again, turning a sharp corner, it is going to kind of get wrinkled, it's folded underneath. It's just not realistic expectation for you to be able to turn a corner and have the train look beautiful and look flawless. This is also why wedding planners oftentimes have someone available for you to fluff you right before you go down the aisle. So it is just one straight line. And as you walk down, your train will be wide and your veil and train will gather and become more and more and more narrow. That's normal and to be expected. Let's get the veil on and see how that looks. So here we have the veil on. It's 
super, super long, and I'm going to walk forward so that you can see how it just follows and gets more and more narrow behind me. So essentially, as you continue to walk, the veil would just gather more and more like that and become more narrow. And if you were to turn a sharp corner, obviously the way in which is best to turn sharp corners is you kind of kick your foot out and sweep it all behind you. But in terms of the veil, it is really difficult. And depending on how long your veil is, you will need someone to help guide you because now we just have a jumble of fabric here at the bottom. All in all, it's very difficult to be walking, maneuvering, and expecting your train and veil to look flawless and stay open and beautiful as you're maneuvering. It is going to ebb and flow and move alongside you and with you if it's very important to you for it to be really beautifully sprawled out, then I do recommend having someone, a stylist or a bridesmaid that you feel is able to take Take care of that for you but the one thing I will say about the bridesmaids is you also want them enjoying the day alongside you and not constantly fussing and focusing on your dress because they actually won't be able to enjoy that time with you because they're so worried about working for you to make sure that you look good of course that is a personal decision and I will leave that to your discretion just a professional's recommendation trying to assist you and guide you through the process I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.